are still because of the the neglect in the past you know for of the disability sector you know in the past there was so much uh, neglect that you know we have a lot of work to do still a long way to go in various areas of you know um, life and uh, in the government sector also we have a long way to go and of course the uh, assembly secretary they have already taken some steps i am also aware of that i was here you know last time when they inaugurated the ramp the lift and things like that so those are very uh, we do appreciate all that all uh, you know the whatever steps are being taken by the authorities we appreciate all that but even at that time i was saying yeah one portion of the complex is you know partially um, accessible now, but we would like to see the entire complex because this is such a high profile, a uh, high, a very important, uh, you know, uh, place, public place, public space, and we would want our disabled community also to be participating in all the uh, activities that are going on here. You know, when there are sessions going on. Ramps down here. Most uh, undignified way to, you know, for persons with disabilities to be. Uh, handled so the accessibility has to be there you know and over here it's because uh, disabled people on the grounds of disability has historically been uh, you know uh, discriminated even in employment opportunities in government uh, employment as well uh, they are often left behind then there are these <coughs> negative attitudes and uh, you know, uh, negative uh, mindsets are there about <clears throat> persons with disabilities. Oh, he is a person with disability. Oh, she's disabled. They can't do this. You know, that kind of feeling is there. That's why so many times, even they are, if they are very capable, even if they are more capable than non-disabled person, they are not given the chance in employment. So these uh, reservation of uh, jobs for persons with disabilities have been uh, laid down in the act to ensure that persons with disabilities are also able to come up on par with uh, other, you know, other citizens as equal citizens. So in our state, as I was uh, starting to say earlier, in our state, this this provision under the Act since 1995, it has not been properly implemented at all. So in all the departments, we find that uh, there is a lot of backlog if we are to go back this all these past years. So, and then there is also now a lot of notifications and office memorandums and even uh, under various high courts also with regard to, uh, you know, uh, carrying out special drives for recruitment of persons with disabilities in various uh, departments. So I would, uh, that of course is not a physical uh, part of, you know, the, the inspection that we are doing today, but I just wanted to inquire about that. I think uh, the officials, I would love, I would uh, want to ask the staff of the Secretariat also to discuss this, you know, how, uh, you know, uh, a special drive can be done also, because we really need to, in all the departments, we need, we need to carry out this uh, special drives to ensure that persons with uh, disabilities are part of the you know, of the uh, workforce in each uh, department. We have tried something in mm -hmm. this area. Okay. But uh, due to this technical fix problem, mm -hmm. like we don't impl implement it. Otherwise, like we were in the meeting, we have discussed, mm -hmm. like to, to keep in this area, mm -hmm. in the upper side, so that it will be accessible to mm -hmm. the They mm -hmm. make it like that. And then in the end, oh, accessibility is needed. They'll do something, and then only one portion here, you know. So every time we go somewhere, we are sitting at the back somewhere, you know. We cannot even join everybody, you know what I mean? That, that is discrimination, you know. So that's why we keep on saying, actually, all these are such important public spaces. It should have been planned accessible, you know. Uh, ex uh, the accessibility should have been there from the time when the you know, drawings were made, the planning was made, you know. And then many times when we go for this inspection, so many, uh, this, uh, the officials or the authorities of various departments, they tell us, oh, this was built, uh, you know, before 2016, because our new act is from 2016. So uh, they keep on saying, but this accessibility provisions have been there since 1995, actually, you know. The 2016 Act is just, uh, you know, updating the old Act, you know, with some new additions and changing some things. But accessibility provisions are the same. 
So it has been there since 1995, so that is not an excuse. Now, you know, all these things should have been properly planned accordingly, you know. So the sad thing is that n none of those, uh, you know, was not properly planned at all. Accessibility was not in, uh, you know, the, uh, consideration at all. You know? so, so now we are facing this problem actually because of that only. You know? So, yeah, so as I was saying, you know, so this, even if it is done, then the sitting area also becomes a problem. That yes. should also be this thing, you know, something that can be removed, not fixed, where we can go in with our wheelchairs for wheelchair users. Then even for, as you were saying, someone who uses a crutch, you know, these are so heavy and so fixed that how do you move inside, you know? The chair has to be moved a little bit. You go in, stand comfortably. The assistant pushes the chair in. It should be like that, you know? So when it's fixed and when it's so heavy, then it becomes very difficult for uh, people, uh, you know, using different kinds of assistive devices to be able to move comfortably in and out. Then even senior citizens, as I said, some of our uh, representatives may be, you know, of that age where, you know, it's difficult, the mobility is reduced, you know, so they need at least a good space to move in and out of their chair. <laughs> I hope it's okay if I go in. There's no accessible toilet at all. So the, you have good enough space now because it's coming in here. One toilet should be, uh, you have the urinals, fine, but then one toilet. Now, whether it's for, actually for accessible toilet, it's always unisex. We don't uh, have, uh, in most places, it's not uh, ladies and uh, gents kind of toilets. Now, it's usually unisex because people need assistance, you know, many people with disabilities, they need assistance. So if it is a man who needs the toilet or so, they may have a woman, you know, the wife or the sister or a woman, ass a woman assistant who needs to assist them. So it is usually unisex only. But then here you have a good uh, distinct space. So once you come in, you can convert one of these uh, toilets into a, a, an accessible toilet that, that is kept uh, um, you know, that is kept uh, reserved for uh, disabled people only. But it needs to be, uh, the space needs to be good because we need, you know, once we go in with our, you know, wheelchairs or other devices, we have to go in, we have to turn, we have to transfer from our chair to the toilet seat. You know, all those uh, uh, things we have to consider. So now it has been converted uh, into the chamber, the speaker's chamber. So where is the women's toilet? Uh, that side right also, yeah. Mm -hmm. And gents and ladies. And up here also, ladies and gents. Yeah. Is there a floor or? Yeah, yeah. 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 there is usually yeah. this thing. So that's why actually in every floor, you know, because that's why in the secretariat complex, so, so that's what we have told them. Because there is, in every wing, in every floor, there are toilet the blocks, you know, gents and ladies and what not they do. But there is not even a single uh, accessible toilet in the entire the civil sanitary complex. So what we have told them is also that they need to make it one in each floor, you know, at least one accessible toilet has to be there for staff as well as for visitors who come, you know, to visit the various offices. So it has to be there. So here also our recommendation would be that uh, since, as I said, we usually don't have uh, gents and ladies for uh, accessible toilets. It's always one unisex uh, toilet, you know. So whatever is possible, since a lot of work is going on already, so if that, uh, you know, one small, one room in each toilet block can be converted into an accessible toilet, I think that would be, that would be one of our recommendations. Uh, of our situation is not good. So we are going down to the first floor again. Uh, the ground. You know, last time the one that I uh, was there for the inauguration, as it should be. This uh, this is of course much better. So, so everyone uses this only, the members, yes, the, the main entrance, no? This the main entrance. Okay. Thank you. Don't have, don't have, no, the parking is here only, here only. around now yeah, when they come for the, the stay. Yeah. And then even for the staff, for staff, that's that side. Yeah, we'll so, uh, yeah, both, in both areas, now towards the office side, uh, the 
administrative block side, na. And even decide it will be good if you can hear. Right now, we don't have, as we have already uh, observed, that we don't have uh, uh, disabled members, you know, in the house. But still, it would be good if you can this thing. You know, suppose one day uh, some uh, disabled uh, big shots they come also. For example, forget people like us who are coming to you know participate and see what's happening. But suppose some people from outside the state also, they come to be part of the proceedings to see, you know, if there is, it's always good to have, uh, of course, here in the assembly, I'm not going to saying that it's going to be a big rush where we don't get uh, this thing because it's kind of, a, you know, a space that is not part of the all the public coming in, but then still, it will be good if uh, one or two slots, you know, parking space can be kept aside for disability parking here, as well as in the, uh, the the staff side, na, the administrative building side. Na. If that can be done, it will be good. See, the assembly is uh, the complex, you know, this assembly is such a high profile uh, uh, space, public place, you know, public building. And if we can make it as accessible as possible, if we can have all the facilities that are there with, and it's not about whether, oh, we don't have access, uh, you know, disabled people coming to our uh, office, or we don't have uh, disabled members who will be participating. It's not about that, you know, it's about making the entire environment as accessible as possible so anyone who comes at any time will be able to, you know, access. So if the assembly complex can become an example, you know, to everyone also, you know, with all the facilities in place, you know, we can always make it as an example, go to, you know, uh, go to the NLA and see how they are doing it. Now, that is the way to keep a uh, you know, a public space accessible. We can say that also to people to come and see, you know, how things are done. So the NLA can become a good example also about uh, providing, uh, making uh, public space as accessible as possible for all citizens. Yeah? So I hope that we can all be, always, uh, we can work together and any, any uh, you know, uh, any consultations that you need with regard to uh, you know, the various uh, specifications that are there, you know, the harmonized guidelines. There is one uh, uh, set of guidelines that are there called the harmonized guidelines, which has been published by the Ministry of um, Urban Affairs. So though there, all the specifications are there. Your engineers also will be aware because uh, we have already worked with them on various other, even in the civil secretariat. I think the uh, engineering wing it comes under the same uh, yes. this thing. See that use your common sense, you know, to see even if it is not exactly as per specifications, but don't make it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is uh, the library is open to the public. Uh, also, no, it's, uh, it's more or less like a special library for mm -hmm. the, the use of our members, right. uh, MPs, mm -hmm. ex-members, and uh, officials of uh, the posted uh, here in the budget. And we provide a uh, facility for the use of uh, law scholars and research scholars. Okay. 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 okay, that's good. That's good. So many people make use of the yes. services yes. here, especially the research scholars. Okay. See, uh, I keep on uh, saying this, that uh, we in our state, accessibility, obviously you all are also aware that it is still very poor. Uh, though there is uh, progress, I must say, you know, there is a lot of progress also in this past few years. We are making good progress. People are also, uh, you know, awareness is also improving in a lot of ways, you know, so there is also... Uh, there is progress. The government also has been proactive, has been, uh, you know, working with us uh, as far as possible, you know, to, uh, to take the necessary action. So there is progress, but uh, still, because, you know, of uh, all the uh, 
neglect in the past you know it's like uh, i keep on saying this again that it's like we are starting from zero level in in every aspect you know of this in the disability sector so it's uh, we still have a lot of work to be done a long way to go so now this uh, inspections as i told you in the beginning it's uh, you know the basic accessibility if it is not there of course we are now we are talking only about uh, physical accessibility accessibility there are many aspects to accessibility but in the physical uh, environment itself you know if someone cannot enter a building for example if someone cannot move around freely inside the building room to room or uh, you know if there are no facilities you know the amenities like uh, toilets which a person with disability can use then how can a person uh, you know be able to work in that uh, building or how can a person be able to carry out any kind of activity or go and get any work done you know in our public places so that is why we are this is one of the most important aspects so that is why we are uh, carrying out this uh, inspections and uh, mm, there has been some action in uh, you know by the various departments you know like constructing a ramp uh, here and there or uh, you know installing a lift that is also being done in various de departments that is good we are happy about that but you know again here uh, the sensitization of why this accessibility is needed that is still very poor among you know the general public and even among uh, among our government officials even in the new buildings the doorways are so small that you can barely negotiate your way into you know uh, 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 into the various rooms and uh, various parts of the uh, buildings when even if you are able to enter a building you know and there is no seamless accessibility seamless is where you can independently move around you know you will always find even if you are able to enter a building for example you know you can barely move you know you go there there's a small step or a small elevation again you know something is there blocking something you need help you know for someone to pull you up push you up you know your so that seamless accessibility people are still very unaware of this they think that just building a ramp is oh we are done we are accessible you know that's the uh, kind of thinking that people have you know but just building a uh, a ramp you know constructing a ramp or you know installing a lift is not enough you have to think about all the various aspects of accessibility in and around uh, you know a uh, uh, particular area you know how accessible is it how are people with disabilities able to move around then the signages also you know the kind of you know in a complex like this for example of course they have uh, here they have uh, the signages where they are indicating this is block b block a whatever you know those kind of things but in most of our public places we don't have those also you know so blind people they are supposed to have all these in braille where they can be able to touch and see you know where they have to go in big uh, buildings for example complexes it can be very confusing you know for people to move around to find the places where they need to find you know so those kind of things then uh, people who are deaf you know the clear signages showing them you have to go here this is there go this way you know that kind of thing should be there those these are still people as uh, you know our people in general are still very unaware and our government our government officials our government departments are also still very unaware Let's see, the, uh, as I said, you know, earlier there was uh, the awareness among our uh, government officials, the state government also was very poor, but uh, this awareness also has improved a lot even in, among, uh, in the government sector now. So now we are realizing that uh, all these are the importance, you know, of implementing all these uh, accessibility provisions. They are starting to realize, of course, we... Um, I have to stress again that we still have a long way, you know, to reach that kind of level where, yes, it becomes, you know, a, a, a culture, accessibility becomes a culture. It is just there where we don't have to keep on talking about why we need this, why we need that. It is just part of our life, you know, access is a culture, you know, that among us. We have not reached that at all and then we have a long way to reach that, but the, the, the awareness of the need of these things, the importance of these facilities, it has improved a lot. And so the most uh, government departments, most government officials are also aware. And on top of that, 
there are a lot of cases also that are coming up these days in the Supreme Court as well as the High Courts, you know, all over the country and including our state, you know, our state government and various other authorities, they are being implicated in many of these cases. So now they are well aware that if they do not implement all these uh, various provisions of the Act, you know, properly and in the right way, then there's going to be trouble, you know, the, the state government will have to face uh, various actions, so that awareness is also there. So, so as I said, now the awareness is improving. They also know the importance, and we will continue doing our work. That is our work. You know, we want to make sure that awareness becomes better among everybody, the general public. You know, in our society, so that we don't have to keep on pushing and pressing all these kind of things. You know, it just becomes part of life. You know, way of life, a way of life for everybody. Yes, we will, uh, uh, as you said, we have gone around to various uh, sections of the complex and we have uh, made uh, several ob observations. Now, with regard to this uh, NLA complex, they have already taken some steps earlier and as you all can see, walking, all of us, we are walking around together, so accessibility is so much better than in some other uh, uh, departments, uh, some other office buildings, isn't it? I'm sure you all can notice also, you know, as I was just uh, 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 commenting earlier, even the hallways, you know, the corridors are big and spacey where it is good. You know, it's uh, f for us to move freely around that is good. So those kind of things are there. But one thing is in the assembly hall, as uh, you all have uh, seen together with me, the, uh, the, the area, the sitting area inside the hall where the representatives sit and, you know, uh, do their the proceedings of the uh, assembly, you know, whatever needs to be done, all those areas are completely inaccessible. So that is one uh, very, um, I think, uh, important uh, observation where they need to take action in that. And then, of course, the accessible toilets, which I have been stressing again, in this huge uh, complex, there is not even a single accessible toilet. So we are talking about uh, staff members who may need such kind of toilets. We are talking about visitors who come to visit uh, them for any work, uh, uh, who, may, uh, you know, uh, who will require accessible toilets. Then we have members. We, we want, you know, we are looking forward to political party political participation of disabled people is so important we are pushing for that and very soon we hope to see members uh, of uh, our assembly also uh, you know disabled people becoming members of our assembly representing our um, uh, people you know in various um, uh, representing our people so uh, so all those are for everyone for all uh, you know the uh, we need accessible toilets and in such a huge complex that there is not even a single accessible toilet, you know, uh, it's a shame, you know, it's uh, disgraceful. So that is one uh, thing that I have already uh, recommended as, walk, uh, as we walked around. But those are things that we will be, of course, officially, you know, giving an order and directive and recommending to the Assembly Secretary to take action on.